I was scrolling through Facebook one day and I saw someone post a clip about this stuff. It was a Spanish marketing video that I couldn't understand, but I saw something insane. It's called the Ultimate Wet Street Legal Tire Shine. I've only found this at Advanced Auto, which is where I am in this video walking around. It's about 10 to 12 bucks a can in stores, but it can be found on sale when they lump it together with other tire products. You can get it online on Amazon. I have the link in the description, but if you go digging around, you can find it for cheaper from some big box stores. So this stuff is probably some of the most insane tire shine I've ever used. It goes on really easy and overspray is wiped away with no trouble at all. It comes in a 14 ounce spray can the can is unusually huge for only being 14 ounces, I guess because marketing. The shine that this leaves behind when applied correctly is literally like looking at yourself in a mirror. If you apply a product differently than I do, that's totally fine so long as you achieve the results you desire and if your business, the results your customer desires. You do you. You'll want to make sure you apply this to a very clean tire. That means you need to use a wheel cleaner and you need to scrub the tire. The cleaning solution that you choose to use should be foaming over. You know the wheel is clean when the tire stops producing brown and yellow foam when you agitate the solution. The cleaner the tire, the better this tire shine will adhere to the rubber and reduce the chance for slinging. If you have lots of dressing built up on your tire, you may need to use a degreaser and a wheel cleaner to get the tire clean enough. So since it's an aerosol, it'll apply very easily. I recommend using short bursts instead of just holding down the trigger on the sprayer. Because if, as you hold down the trigger, the spray becomes wider and less concentrated and you tend to waste a lot of product doing that. So just use short, fast moving bursts when applying. You'll want to use a, a sweeping motion when you apply so you get good coverage. Otherwise it's going to take forever and you're going to waste product. If you're applying this to a tire with large outer grooves such as an aggressive off-road tread tire you'll want to dab a microfiber around the edges of the tire to get some of that product that's pooling in the tread removed. Remember this will sling if you do not pay attention to how this is applied. If you apply a lot beyond the first coat you will absolutely sling this all over your paint. But if you apply this and then knock it down with a microfiber even with just one coat you're still going to get an insane amount of shine. If you want the crazy reflective look that this product can give you, you need to apply it in two coats. The first coat needs to be applied evenly and then knocked down with a microfiber. The second coat should be lightly applied and then just let to sit on the tire. Do not knock down the second coat. Ultimately, if you can let the car sit for at least an hour or more, you greatly reduce the chances of having any sling if you get any overspray on the rim or the paint, it does wipe off pretty easily. If it's warm out and there's sun on the panel, you may need a spritz of water to get it to lift completely off the panel. It's usually a good idea to dress tires before you put any finishing product on the paint, so keep that in mind. Just remember that this is not a water-based dressing, it's silicone-based. That means if you have other dressings on your tire before you apply this, you need to remove them as much as possible. If this slings onto your paint, it's because you didn't follow these directions. 
So you can find this at Advanced Auto Parts or on Amazon. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Good luck out there.